it is officially Ice Princess season. I am bringing you along for an ice skating vlog today, a little ice skating day in my life, if you will. I started my adult ice skating journey back in January, and I am just so proud of myself for the progress that I have made. I've been sprinkling in a little bit of my ice skating footage and practice in the day in my life vlogs that I post here on YouTube, as well as I've been posting a lot more on TikTok as well. But a lot of you guys are suggesting that I make this into like its own little video, its own little vlog. So let me know at the end of this if you like this type of vlog, if this is a video that I should kind of put in the rotation of my videos. I am so excited to bring you along and share as much as I can about my ice skating adventures. I will link my ice skating playlist down below for you guys. So that's me getting ready for my first ever ice skating lesson, kind of like chit-chatting on why I wanted to start ice skating. I also vlog buying my skates, breaking in my skates. So in this video, I'm gonna bring you along for my practice. We're going to get ready and chit-chat. I'm gonna be showing you like what I typically wear, what is inside of my ice skating bag. It's going to be like a good vlog overall and I feel like it's perfect because it's starting to get chilly outside. Maybe some of you guys wanna go ice skating and maybe this will like give you like a little push for you to go ice skating too. But let's get going with the video. Cheers. I am a big jewelry girl, so even when I have ice skating classes, I still wear my jewelry. These have been my go-to just because they're really teeny tiny and they're also really secure on my ear. So these are what I'm going to put on. Also going to go ahead and put my hair up. This is my go-to hair look when it comes to ice skating. I typically will do like a middle part, but today I already have it in a side part, so we're just going to continue with that. And I typically just do like kind of a low pony. I've gone with a bun before, I've done braids. This is just the one that I typically use the most. I'm going to gather up my hair. I have been doing private ice skating lessons because the group classes are late at night and I am not close to the ice skating rink and it's also not an easy commute to the ice skating rink. So also just with my schedule, I wouldn't have been able to make all of the group classes and you do get like one makeup day, but ice skating classes are very expensive and by doing the private lessons, if I'm unable to make it one week, I can just text my coach and we can reschedule it for another day in the week, another time. It's just way easier for me and I can get the most out of it too. I've been talking to my friend that I met in ice skating earlier this year. I may sign up for some classes with her, but as of now, I'm just doing my private lessons. This also has been amazing for ice skating days. This is from Day, and this is a styling wand. So pretty much when you open it up, it's this wand with like a gel almost on it. And all you do is just comb it through your hair to have like your flyaway stick down. And it is so nice. For me at least, I like having this. So there's like just no flyaways. I do have like little baby hairs and I do have like kind of like in shorter pieces in the front. So I like putting this in my hair that way when I'm skating, they don't come undone and they don't get in my face. It also helps these like little baby pieces right here. It's so great. This literally is my ice skating hair. Like nine times out of 10, this is the hairstyle that I'm wearing to ice skating. So I talked more about this on my TikTok get ready with me. Like when I started back up my ice skating lessons, I did take a break over the summer from my ice skating lessons just because I had a lot of vacations to go on and it was just hard to get a schedule actually down. When I started my ice skating classes, I did start by doing group classes and I started as a level two, I think, pretty much with the group classes, which you can see like more of that on my YouTube. It literally is what it sounds like. It was just group classes, like you're just learning in a group. And my coach that I work with privately now, she actually was my coach in these group classes. I absolutely fell in love with her. She's so nice. She's so sweet. She's so easy to understand. And she gives me things so I can work on them like on my own time. She's just very like encouraging. So I knew I wanted to continuously work with her. When I was taking these group classes, I was progressing like way faster than what I was expecting myself to, which again is another pro to doing these private lessons right now is because I don't have to wait on anyone else in a class to reach a certain skill. Once I get something and if something just clicks, I can move on. Or if something is taking me a little bit longer, I can take more time on it. I've been focusing more lately on doing things like outside of the rink, which one thing is flexibility. I did not realize how much flexibility went into ice skating. A lot of leg flexibility, back flexibility, and also I've been doing other workouts trying to like strengthen up my legs too. The group classes only last a few weeks and when those winter classes ended earlier this year I had my endometriosis surgery which took me off of the ice for a little bit. So I have been going consecutively now for like the past like month and a half like straight just going to my ice skating classes. I just wrote a blog post about my ice skating favorites kind of like what I keep in my bag but also just like my favorite athletic wear leg warmers. I've been experimenting with some of the things and I have found like my perfect like little combo. That works 
works for me. This is your sign. If you've been wanting to try ice skating lessons, just sign up for them and just see if you like them because it is such a great hobby and sport to get involved in, even if you're older. I was so scared that I was going to be so behind and I was just one of those people that I really let, like you can't teach old dogs new tricks quote really get to me because you always see these people do so fabulous and so wonderful because they've been doing it for years or since they've been like little kids. But that doesn't mean that you can't find joy in a sport later on in life. I actually had a full photo shoot this morning, but I came home and took off all of my makeup. I was like in full glam and I did not want to go to the ice rink with full like lashes and everything. So hence why I am redoing it now. And Will is coming along with us today. He's going to be the cute little cameraman and filming my classes, which it's been great. He has been filming my classes for me. He comes with me to my ice skating classes. It's so funny seeing Will in like an ice skating setting. He is such like his own little coat. I don't even know how to explain it. Like I'll get off of the ice and he'll be like, I think you need to like jump higher with this and you need to do this. And like, he is just such like, I swear, like when we have kids, he's going to be like the baseball coach. Like he's going to be like that type of dad. This is exactly how he is in pageants too. He's always just like, I don't know, just like my biggest supporter, always there for me, always at the practices. It's just the sweetest little thing. I also have gotten into watching like other ice skating vloggers on YouTube, which also was kind of like my inspiration and kind of like, okay, we just need to go ahead and film one of these videos because I think it's going to be so cute especially as like winter is approaching i feel like ice skating gets more popular during the winter i actually ordered new athletic wear for this video specifically but it's not supposed to get here until thursday i was like dang i have been waiting to film this video for a couple of weeks now and i was really expecting that athletic wear to be here i got like this new black skirt which you guys know i don't really wear a lot of black but i do wear butt pads which we're about to get into for my ice skating lesson and the butt pads are black so if i wear another color than black they're very 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 noticeable which last week i did a like little mini vlog on tiktok it's too long to put on youtube shorts because it's like almost a three minute long little vlog but i did end up falling last week at practice it wasn't a bad fall or anything but i did fall flat on my butt and my hip and i wish i had my pads on underneath me so all right a little ice skating makeup look i just got this new eyelash curler and i swear it's making my lashes look so much better than what they typically do my other one broke and i was so sad because i had been using that same one for years like probably six seven years so i just got this new one and i think my lashes look pretty good very glowy very cutesy this is the outfit i typically wear ice skating this is like kind of my go-to look that i wear i do change it up a little bit here and there but this is like really good products so these are block tights i got mine on amazon i'll be linking everything that i'm showing down below for you like the exact things these are super stretchy and they're also pretty thick which is exactly what you want when you're ice skating my rink is indoors but depending on the weather outside it can be like a little chillier but i find that these ooh, but i find that these keep my legs pretty warm so this is like the first layer that i put on this is a go-to figure skating skirt for me again i got this on amazon this is so so great this is like a little high-waisted black skirt this is perfect because it is like a little bit lower in the back i don't know if you can tell but it's shorter in the front just like a maybe like an inch or like half an inch not that noticeable but it's really lovely it also has built-in shorts so it is a skirt. and this is my favorite one to wear with my butt pads because you can't notice as much when i wear this i already have my sports bra on right here and i haven't had to wear an undershirt yet with this if i do i typically just wear like a long sleeve athletic top but this is my absolute favorite jacket this is like the strawberry milkshake color in lululemon it was like this really pretty baby pastel pink so let's get dressed It is a chillier day today, so I'm going to put on my puffer coat over this just like while we're traveling to the rink. I got my tights, got my skirt on. Now I just have to grab the bag. Taking one more breath beside you So I could find strength to divide us Give it all we got and I know We did the best we could If I could go back
I am back from ice skating. I didn't get to show you what is in my bag before my lesson, so I'm going to do it now. So if you care about like, what's in my bag, and I'm also going to do like a slight Q&A too. I asked you guys on Instagram if you had any questions for me for like ice skating. We're going to do the bag first, and then we're going to go into the Q&A. Is it noticeable? I love the clipping. <laughs> so let's just start off with the bag. This is the, is it the Bays? Bay's bag. This is like such a popular brand. I don't know why. I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is like the little mini weekender. I recently just switched over all of my ice skating things to this bag. I did start off with like an Amazon bag specifically meant for ice skates, but it was just so oddly shaped and it was just really bulky and it just wasn't working for us. So I transitioned over to this one and it's great. It has like a little lower part and a bigger part. So we're going to start like in this front little zipper. In this front zipper, I have some hand sanitizer, some bubble gum. I have have a scrunchie just in case something happens to the one that I have in my hair or if I forget to put my hair up. I also have my sunglasses, some hand lotion, a band-aid just in case. Oh, I have two band-aids actually. And then two lip glosses. Typically, if I have any bigger blisters, I come straight from the apartment typically so I can just fix it and like put it on my foot beforehand. There was one time before ice skating that I had this huge blister on the back of my heel and it popped. I was modeling the day prior and it was this huge blister so I was able to put like a bigger blister pad in. I think the cats are trying to get in here. Hey, Lemon. Okay, then hopping into the biggest part, which is where I keep my ice skates. This is meant for a tablet, but I just keep my hard guards in here. Hey, girl. Do you want to come say hello? Say hello, everybody. Oh, this is such a bright light for the AP baby. She's purring. Oh, my goodness. You want to take a little nap? I'm going to sit right here. <laughs> take a little nap. I think she's, she's laying right here. These are Mama's hard guards. I got these hard guards at a skating supply shop. I'm pretty sure it was in Queens, New York. That's where I bought my skates and I get them sharpened at. So I got these. So they're just, it says penguin rockers. I don't know, but I keep those in like the little tablet section of this bag. And then in the main compartment, I have my ice skates. Do you see? I have the Freestyle by Jackson skates. These are recommended from my coach. So that's why I have these skates. I will probably upgrade them if I just continue doing ice skating. She said like the more advanced jumps, these aren't the best skates for. Um, but right now these are what I use. This is what they look like. They're not laced up or anything, but they have like these sparkles in the back, which I just adore. I think they're so precious. Then I also have my soakers. So these soakers are from Etsy and they are very large and in charge. Typically I do have like a little towel in here to wipe off my blades. I did not pack it today, so I need to go ahead and like wipe, like make sure these are all clean. But these soakers are huge. They also have like a little cute bow at the front of it. So got both of my skates in here. Then in the bottom section, this is where I keep the accessories that I use like during practice. Woman is sitting right here. So down here, I keep my butt pads. These are just ones that I got on Amazon. They help protect my hips and my booty. I also have my leg warmers. These are the best leg warmers. I'll link them down below for you guys. They have elastic at the end of them so they can like scrunch over your skate. When I first started ice skating, I just got regular leg warmers and it was just not good. Like none of the leg warmers would actually go over the boot and then it kept riding up the boot. So having these elastic, it like hooks under the boot perfectly. These are kind of a just in case. I've never worn these since having these new skates. I did start my skating lessons with just like used ice skates on eBay. So I used these then, but these are like little gel pads if you can see. So they like go over and like they protect your ankles. Again, I haven't had to use these, but just in case I do typically wear my tights and skirts for my lessons. But when I do decide to wear leggings, these are little skating socks and these feel exactly like tights. Like they're super stretchy. They're super thin. They allow you to actually feel the boot. So my boots actually got like heat molded to my foot, which has helped tremendously. Let me know like if you do like these type of videos, if you want me to do like more videos on ice skating. I don't know. Like this might be entertaining to some people. I also have this little headband, which matches my Lululemon jacket. And I have this headband just because sometimes my ears get really cold. I have very, very sensitive ears. And this is like a little, it looks really cute on. Okay. I don't like earmuffs on me, but this will like help keep my ears warm with without having like the look of earmuffs. And then last but not least in my bag, I have my little gloves. So I do have two pairs of gloves. These are lighter gloves and then these are fleece lined. I believe I'll be starting to use these fleece lined ones when it's like dead middle of winter and the ice rink is just super duper cold because the outside it does really change what the inside feels like. So these are like the inside of the pink gloves. They're so warm. Well, these gloves are just 
like regular knitted like your regular gloves that you buy i also have my water bottle with me i typically just put like lemon water in this or gatorade vitamin water today i have my water boy so good but i do typically just throw this in my bag so now we can do like a little mini q a i'm gonna like rapid fire these questions that you guys have a lot of people are asking about like my figure skating journey and like the skates that i have and like how i bought the skate questions about that like my earlier journey that's all on youtube again i will link that playlist down below for you guys there's also a bunch of questions asking if i'm going to be like competing if there's like any competitions i can do or if this is just like a regular hobby i honestly don't know i i haven't really looked into it i think it would be so fun fun to compete i don't know I, like i'm definitely not at that level yet i still have a lot a lot to work on but i feel like if the opportunity was presented to me i would absolutely love to compete i feel like it would be so cool to have an actual routine i don't know how ice skating routines go but like to me i think i would want a theme which i feel i feel like my theme would either be like legally blonde themed or like a disney princess type so you have like the really cute outfits i don't know as of now it's just a hobby it's just something to move my body and really good for my mental health but who knows i really don't know how to go about that and also it's different because it's like adults it's not like you're like a child competing it's like a completely different thing so i i don't know do you prefer jumping or spinning saw you working on both i think right now i am doing better at jumping but i prefer to spin even though i am like having kind of a rough patch with spinning i'm not fully grasping the spins just yet but it's because i really haven't worked on them too too much so i really want to focus in on my spins in like the next few lessons favorite skill you have learned probably the toe loop that has been really fun i'm still like in the middle of learning it. it's not perfect but that's like my favorite jump hardest trick you've learned so far that is probably the sow cow that i don't know why is so difficult to me right now i just like cannot get it i kind of started grasping it a little bit today but i have been working on that jump and it is just a really difficult jump i i'm trying to use like the correct terminology i know and have understanding from my half jumps i haven't like started full jumps what Whatsoever. so like i have learned the half jumps it's just like perfecting the half jump so whatever i'm doing right now it's not like a full turnaround jump yet all of these tricks that i'm doing and like i'm still like in the very beginning of my ice skating journey i still have so so much to learn how long does it take to ice skate decently if it's your first time I would say it depends on the person and how confident you are and I feel like the muscles you have too because I didn't realize how many muscles it actually works like in your foot and your ankle your calf your thigh there's just like a bunch of different ones and I feel like it just depends on the person how often you're going to the ice rink how much you actually put into it I will say I feel like just some people are just natural at it like there are these kids like typically when I'm doing my lesson there's like a group kid class I just believe that some people are like just automatically talented in certain things and the world what is the worst injury you've gotten from ice skating thankfully i've only had a couple of falls the worst fall that i had was at the very end of the group classes in, like the beginning of this year i fell so hard it was like on i think my right side like completely i don't even know how it happened i completely wiped out it completely hurt my shoulder my hip my ribs like everything was in so much pain thankfully now i have these butt pads so they're kind of humbling to wear but i would much rather be wearing these butt pads and protect my hips and butt than fall on the ice because the ice is so hard and the last question that i'm going to be talking about is advice for those who are beginners or who are wanting to learn how to skate just go for it like literally going back to the quote i started my whole entire channel on be the girl that just went for it like if you want to start ice skating lessons just start going to your local ice rink and just start skating like general lessons just to kind of like get a feel for it see if they have group classes see if they offer any sort of lessons that you can hop in on i know that typically they do like kind of an open enrollment type thing so you kind of have to hop on when like the open enrollment is at least that's how it's been like in my experience but then just go for it like don't care what anyone else says like you're never too old to try something new and like i said at the beginning of this video it is so important to have hobbies and things for your mental health especially the older you get i feel like that is just something we care so much about when we're younger but then as we get older we kind of lose that love for things like maybe you did dance when you were younger but then it just kind of like fell off when you went to college or maybe you started a family and like now you don't dance anymore that is still something that you can still do to this day singing ice skating boxing like whatever you want to do go just take some classes like
like there are so many recreational and adult opportunities out there that I just did not realize until I started looking. Now I will say I do live in New York City so I feel like there's a lot more opportunity for anything here but do your research see what you can find and maybe join with a friend if you're kind of like an introvert and you want someone like a kind of a buddy with you or maybe you just want to completely jump in there and meet new people. That's what I did when I joined my ice skating class. I just hopped right in and I made a couple of friends and it was absolutely amazing and it's led me here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you enjoy kind of like the ice skating content. You guys know I love planning my videos and I love spending so much time curating them and giving you some like fun videos to watch. So let me know your thoughts on this video and comment down below any video recommendations that you have for my channel this winter. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you want to join the family you can click that subscribe button also. I love you guys so much. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Cause you know that I'm a